Hey, it's Keith Townsend, principal of the CTO Advisor, and we are in beautiful Palo Alto. I've never been in <laughs> this part of Palo Alto. I guess it's the new Palo Alto and the cool part of Palo Alto. Palo Alto. I, this is actually one of, this is the original Palo Alto, and the other part of Palo Alto was named Mayfield, and Palo Alto decided to bring it all together. So this is just the, this is the original half, just down the street from Stanford. So that voice and person that you're seeing is Chris Cummings from Falcon Store. And Chris, thanks for sponsoring this CTO Advisor Road Trip video. We're going to hit it right off. Glad to be here, Keith. Falcon Store. Yeah. I cut my storage area networking teeth on IP Store uh -huh. uh, years ago. And when Georgiana reached out to me and suggested that we talk to you folks, I'm like, oh, the the storage array people. Yeah. That's the old Falcon store. That's right. What's the new Falcon store? So the new Falcon store is really a continuation of the old, although not focused on primary storage, but focused on secondary. Mm -hmm. And the specialty for the company really has been in the continuous data protection and backup space. And I had the same reaction, by the way, as you, because my original team at NetApp 20 years ago managed Falcon Store. Hmm. And I thought, when I got this phone call, Falcon Store is still around? <laughs> so let's, one, give a head nod to the old Falcon Store and talk about continued data protection. That was yeah. actually one of the reasons we chose Falcon Store back then was we were doing WAN replication, site right. to site, IP store at one location, IP store at the second location, and continuous data protection between the two. We then found out that I, I could have switched out the storage array with any other storage array and pretty much did the same thing. You guys haven't changed that model other than you're out of the primary storage business and focus on that secondary storage business. Right. That's right, and there's two products, and you're, you're pointing out the, the first core product, which is heterogeneous data protection, continuous replication from any point to any target, and that continues whether that target is in the cloud or that's a secondary data center or a secondary array. Um, it's something that we know the primary storage vendors all have their homogeneous tools, right? right? That's part of the equation but we're still talking to many that are looking for something that is heterogeneous. Well, let me throw some technical stuff at you because I, th I think I get it, but I'm challenged. If I'm going from, let's say, EMC array to EMC array, I know I have tools that EMC provides right. that allows me to do that and that works fine. However, if I'm in my the market that I'm in today, I it's unlikely that I'll do that anymore because the public cloud has made it so cost effective to have warm failover that I can go from EMC array to public cloud, but EMC arrays replicate via lungs and mm -hmm. all these other concepts. How is Falcon Store injecting itself in that data path? Mm -hmm. versus what EMC does natively. Right, well we're still just taking a LUN and, and moving it to another LUN. You carve that LUN out. The nice thing about this, this product, which is now StoreGuard, it's every product goes through a thousand names, but here's, here's the next name, right is you can migrate that original copy to a secondary copy and you don't have to take anything offline in order to be able to do that. So it is used for that initial migration and then continuous replication from, from there. So let's talk about like who would, or how I would use this in a primary data center. Let's say that I have the traditional VMware environment. Am I doing, again, long base replication from one site to another, VMS F file system based, like what's the requirement on the on the primary side? Yeah, um, we can deal with fiber channel, we can deal with iSCSI, we can deal with NAS, you name it, you choose. Um, that's the only requirement we have. The way that typically we're seeing people use that is that will be replication from one system to another, but when you enter the backup world, the first thing is, how do I lay that down on my initial backup target? And that's where our second product, StoreSafe, uh, StoreSafe excuse me, comes into play. StoreSafe is that disk-based backup target, but unlike what 
we see and was adopted back when I was part of the team that tried to buy data domain at NetApp and many years ago. That market has shifted. Purpose-built backup appliances are the old generation and the new generation is software only, and that's what StoreSafe does. So you actually just kind of threw me for a curve, because I was thinking yeah. about asynchronous replication before. Sure. Primarily, hey, you know what, long to long based replication. Yep. I'm going from EMC to NetApp, NetApp to EMC, or Hitachi, IBM, you throw your solution in there and right. this is the shim that makes it work. Right. But StoreSafe mm -hmm. sounds like a, is that a backup solution or is it a disk target? Or what exactly so is it? It's a, good, it's a good question. So the positioning is that it's, it's a disk target it is open to whatever software you have and use on the front end. And you know, in the types of organizations that you talk to all day long, you know they don't just have one of everything. Right. They got five of this and five of that. So you got Commvault here, you've got uh, IBM BRMS here, you've got Tivoli, you've got NetBackup, you've got... So rather than start a fight between those teams that chose those products, you can drop us in and we are that heterogeneous target for all of those. And then from there, we have pretty good dedupe technology that we started patenting 20 years ago and we get some pretty fabulous rates and high throughput to about 160 terabytes an hour we can get and lay down this backup. And then from there, you choose where you want it to go. We still will write to tape if that's what you want. Tape's not dead for many companies. As, right. you, as you know, 20 years ago at NetApp, I thought it, tape was dead. But I'm still here 20 years ago, and I might have almost died a couple of times, but tape is still here. There's cloud solutions based off of tape. Exactly. Well, we, the, we know that. That's the, exactly yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, or you replicate it to a secondary disk target. It can be on-prem. It can be at an off-site location. Or as you point out, you can replicate it to, say, an S3 target in the cloud. And you and I both know that that's where the tape library, the new tape libraries are being sold is to serve that. So. You have those three options, and you choose the SLA that you want, and you go from there. If you're a managed service provider, you want to learn how you can build your business on Falcon Store's solutions, watch that video, link below. If you want to find out more about Falcon Store, you can follow the link below, and we'll make sure someone gets a hold of you. If you want to learn more about the CTO Advisor, you can follow me on the web. TheCTOAdvisor.com is the website forward slash road dash trip to find out where else we vi visited <laughs> here in the U.S. My DMs are open. If you think there's a question I should have asked the uh, Falcon Store folks, DM me and we'll get to it. If there's a solution that you think is better, you know what? DM me and I'll send that information over to Chris yeah. and you guys can have that debate. Until, until then, talk to you next CTO does.